Hello, in this video we're doing the male thread uh, part of the thread chasing series. Um, in the first one we did the female threads on this boxwood lid for our little project. And we're going to complete this by mating the um, female threads to the male threads that I've got chucked up in my lathe. And I'm going to show you, <clears throat> I'm going to show you three different ways to do this. One is by marking, one is by establishing a tenon on the male spigot, and the, and the last one is doing a taper. So I promise you three ways to mate uh, the threads together, so let's get started. Um, the first thing I'm going to do in, in, in terms of marking is I'm going to take my calipers, my vernier calipers, and set that uh, to the height of the female threads. That's the high point of the female threads. And then I'm going to put that right here and I'm going to mark this. Now be real careful. You want to only touch this, this side of your calipers and not the other one or else it will be flung back at you and you don't want that. So I'm going to turn my light on and just, uh, I may be blocking the camera a little bit, but um, Okay, I've got a mark on there, and I might just, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, darken that with a pencil so we can see that. Okay, I've got this marked with my, my calipers to the proper uh, dimension. Now what I have here, this mark is the top of my female thread. Let me back that off just a little bit. There we go. Uh, the top of my female thread is that mark. Now, we have to increase that by the dimension of our male thread. So we're going to come out a little farther. And I'm guessing here, when you mark and measure and put pencil to wood, uh, there's a lot of inaccuracy in just simply the pencil. So when you get down to doing threads like this, it's a lot of guesswork and estimation. So I'm going to leave that a little bit proud and, and kind of work my way down to that. So the number one way to do this is simply to uh, use calipers or dividers and mark that. Now I'm going to turn my tool rest parallel with my bedways. And the second way we're going to do that is we're going to establish a tenon on this. And I'm going to take my point tool Now as you can see I'm a little bit proud of that so not fitting quite yet Not fitting quite yet. I'm just about there. Okay, it's almost, almost there, just a little bit more. I'm going to attribute this method to Alan Batty. Uh, he's got a very good DVD out on thread chasing. And this is the method he uses in his DVD. And I'm, and I'm almost, I'm just about there, so bear with me. This is a great little tool for taking off just a whisper of, of wood. And I'm going to call that good. What, what I'm aiming for is this little tenon on here to be the same level as my female threads. Okay, and I'm I'm right there. Okay. So what I do now is I'm gonna I'm gonna estimate the height of my male thread. I 
And I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. You can see that this level right here, the difference from that little tenon or spigot to this is the dimension of my male thread. Now I can go ahead and uh, chase the threads on that. I can increase the, the tenon a little bit more on that um, and then establish that height uh, for my male thread. Now I'm going to show you another way um, and I'm going to just take this off just a little bit more. I'm going to come down to here. with my point tool and with the lathe running I need to come down just a little bit more I'm establishing a taper on this okay Now if you can see this little burn mark, this little burn mark right here, that is the top of my male thread. So now what I'm going to do, <clears throat> back that off a little bit, I'm going to turn down this tenon to the level of that burn mark. Now I don't need this original little tenon on there, so I'm going to turn that off. Okay. Okay, I've readjusted my camera to this angle, and I'm going to use my point tool and reestablish that uh, chamfer on the front of my threads right there. I'm going to increase my, my tenon a little bit and with the point tool I'm going to, point tool, I'm going to establish the recess that I need. I'm taking my lathe down to a turning speed around 350 RPM. Again I'm using a 16 TPI chaser. So at 45 degree angle I'm going to back my camera off just a little bit more so you can see my tool. So. Now, right to left motion, I'm going to uh, approach the chamfer at 45 degrees and the first uh, touch of my tool needs to be a complete pass. Okay, so... I'm going to just test my fit here and see if I'm see if I'm close. And I am and I'm close. In fact, um, ordinarily the lid on this base of this little box project wouldn't run very true until you get the shoulders to match up. So I am right where I need to be, and that's kind of the purpose of establishing that little that little tenon on there. So. I'm going to turn my lathe back on and complete my threads. Now as you can see, at this point I'm just about 90 degrees 
to the uh, level of my my threads right here. I'll, I'll try my my lid once more. And uh, that usually doesn't happen. I got I got pretty lucky as you see my two shoulders are mating up okay. Increase my speed just a little bit. Yeah, it's a good idea to check check your thickness. And yeah, my grain is not lining up. That's a good tight fit. So put my put my lid back on and I'm gonna turn my, my tool rest to where it should be and finish up the top of my, my lid. You just come back here with a little little bit of a scrape. So there you have it. We're running out of time on this video. Thank you for for tuning in on this series. Um, here's my male thread. I don't have my, my bottom hollowed out, but uh, that's not too bad. That worked out all right. So thank you very much for watching. And